Weit ist man hier? 261 Inhalt von Zeiten von 20 Stunden höchstens 10 Mal verwendet werden kann, wobei ein das heißt, der 500 japanischen Yen entspricht, nicht überschritten werden darf. In Anbetracht der Dringlichkeit des Experiments hat sich die Foundation jedoch dazu entschlossen, Anfälle von Dr. Eric aus SCB häufig einzusetzen, stattzugeben. Hm. Coxero, eine Dose Diätkohle, Verpackung auf Englisch, Cheetos, natürlich Cheetos, Verpackung auf Englisch, Blackjack, ein Paket, raffinierter Kaugummi, Verpackung auf Japanisch, Jan Jan, okay. Das sind so die Sachen, was man dann hier für dem Ding kriegt. Hm. Hm. Es wird mehr für kurze Zeit benutzt, wenn unter oder große Geldmengen eingeworfen werden, beginnt es wie bizarre Objekte auszuwerfen. Hä? Ach, das ist ein Automat. Hm. Interesting. So, gehen wir da chatten. <lacht> Monatliche Vorlesung? Okay. Dann schauen wir uns mal an, was es da Interessantes in der Vorlesung gibt. Okay, hier klicken. Okay. Oh, das andere kann ich nicht machen. Äh, was? Den Chill and Dragon. Okay. Los geht's. Braucht er wieder fünf Jahre, bis es geladen hat. Training? War doch eine Vorlesung. There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real story of mystery and wonder and adventure. And then you too will become the guardian of this story The story takes place in a world of long ago. The hero of our story is a little boy. His name is Daniel. One day, out of nowhere, Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. It made him look like a strawberry. To make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. Mr. Daniel, while up here in this attic, you'll have plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. I hope you practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. But Mrs. Page, the melody is so difficult. Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Okay, this is mal was komplett anderes. Daniel was reluctant at first. But he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Ach, scheiße. Das ist die F-Space. Na, dann schauen wir mal.
Naja, könnte schwerer sein. Okay. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Daniel decided to go over and take a look. Uh, D, okay. Oh. Alles klar. Schon irgendwie cool, dass es hier so abwechselt mit dem Style. Zug. Nice. Bist du nur nach vorn? It was a mouse trap and there oh. was a red origami paper dragon inside of it. Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. Um. Um. Mm. Okay. Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the world below. He played and played with the paper dragon. Wee! Woo! Dragon! Soar! <sighs> In the warm afternoon sun, Daniel had to fight his eyelids just to keep them open. Is it? Could it be? Or is this all just a dream? Alles nur ein Traum. The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Our town is located in the plains where earthquakes are not particularly common. Although there are 17 fault zones around us, they are all inactive. A scrunched up ball of paper rolled over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life and it rolled away. Daniel chased after it. Okay. Man passiert der Horror. <lacht> okay. Komm, ich krieg dich. Nein! Oh, ich kann nicht rennen. Okay, ich glaube, der hat mich jetzt wie hochgehoben. Nein! Komm her! Wie soll ich denn das einfangen? Mann! Es war direkt bei mir. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball. Suddenly, terrible sparks erupted from it. Okay. Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. I wasn't dreaming. Thank you for saving me. Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon, but the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. Just then, Daniel had an idea. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. Äh, ob die Melodie eigentlich böse ist? Na gut, probieren wir es nochmal. mal. 
So easy. Ah, shit. nochmal. Ja, nice. Nee, wunderbar. Geil. Das ist 110. Der Dragon enjoyed the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. Okay. Eh? The paper dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air, communicating with Daniel in a unique way. Get you up. The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Um, here, here. Dragons. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. Ob das gut ist? Wie man das normalste der Welt ist, das ist jetzt nicht. Und ich dachte, er muss allein sein. Ach so, okay. That's Duke, this is Jessica's pet. He doesn't like rainy days, or Mrs. Carter. Only smoke sausages for his day. <laughs> and now, we are friends too. My name is Daniel, what's your name? The paper dragon flapped its wings, as if it didn't understand him. Since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, why don't I just call you Penny? <laughs> I'll keep practicing to make you sound better. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the attic. Let's play cat. Uh, wie genau? Alte E gedrückt, um aufzuladen. <laughs> okay. Und jetzt? Was willst du von mir? Gib her! Oder muss ich hier... Ah! Das ist mir jetzt mal ich... Hui! <lacht> süß! But just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. Oh. The stubborn earthquake is back at it, folks, and it seems even stronger than last time. At this moment, the box suddenly shot open, and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Oh. 
Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle day in and day out. As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. Uh, was kommt aus dieser Box da nur raus? One day, the box suddenly began to move. Oh. Uh? One, two, three, four. This time there were four paper dragons. But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. It's in a beer googeln. small attic, the four paper dragons fought fiercely against the paper balls. This time, the paper balls used new tactics. They pulled together into a single monstrous ball of paper. It began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. Yeah. Seeing the injured paper dragons, Daniel felt very distressed and anxious. Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fall and gathered the remainder of its power. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and dove straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. Came another paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was blasted to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper, and a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Okay, einsammeln. Oh. The Amen. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two colored threads, they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide flying freely through the attic. Daniel eagerly took out his penny whistle. He showed all his paper dragon friends the results of his hard work and practice. Okay, noch einmal Musik spielen. Ooh. Thank you. 
Was wohl passiert, wenn man hier gar nicht spielt? De facto keine Punkte macht. Es dann irgendwie ein Bad Ending gibt? In the sweet melody of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. Und die Flöte, glaube ich, ist der SCP. Ähm. Uh. Kann ich was machen? Oh. Okay, wenn die Drachen Drachen sind, was sind dann die Papierkugeln? Dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants Ach, Riesen. Okay. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world through the room. We are prepared to launch the final defense. Then we will have to destroy your room. Oh. It is the last remaining entryway into your world. Das heißt, sie können dann auch nicht mehr kommen. Please believe. This farewell will only be temporary. Okay. We will not be apart forever. And we will never forget our eternal mission. Protecting you. Mm, a bit sus. At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But the paper dragons never returned. Mm, so. Eh? Ach so. Okay, alles klar. Ja, dann mal alles hier wieder rein. Maybe it was time to leave. And move on. Earthquake warning! Magnitude 6.2! A massive earthquake is hitting our town! All townspeople, please leave your houses immediately and move to safe open spaces! Just then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack. Spinning and falling through the air in confusion. What's happening? Daniel quickly grabbed the stickers out from his bag and did his best to heal the injured paper dragons. Oh shit. Um we can't see aufnehmen. What's Ach da? So, so, come, 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 come. Wo ist der nächste? Da hinten. So, komm. Wir schaffen das. Nächste. So. Und du auch. Nächste. Da. Oh, das wird uns ja nie einer glauben, was hier passiert. Oh. But the paper balls swarmed together and pushed Daniel away, subduing him firmly in the corner. He couldn't move. Suddenly, ominous clouds rose from the box, and a violent lightning flashed through the room. The figure of a giant slowly emerged from the thick clouds. The entire attic became overwhelmed with its evil aura. The earthquake is growing stronger, now with a magnitude of 7.1. Heaven Almighty, are we doomed? The giant unleashed.
unleashed its power maniacally. The paper dragon struggled against it, with no means of fighting back. At this critical moment, two paper dragons shined brilliantly. Together, they heroically crashed their bodies into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated by the paper dragons, but soon he found that things would probably not be so simple. The giant's figure could still be seen in the thick smoke, looking evil and terrible. But the attacks of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. It fought back with a new ferocity. Dragons were simply no match for it. Müssen wir mal den Song spielen? Vor allem, er ist am moderieren, weil alles so abgeht. Das schaut, dass er selber rausgeht, ne? With the paper dragons now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers as if this whole crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. No. Penny then left Daniel and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red beam and rushed fast towards the giant. The other dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon flying. No! The huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper. The leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. Ah, uh, ich glaube, es geht nicht. Oh, ich den Kampf gern so gesehen. Oh, einfach mal alles einklauben. Äh, ah. Ähm. I don't know. Oh, irgendwie. Nicht gut. Passt denn jetzt nicht? Muss das hier so streng hier drin sein? Na komm. Kein Drache. A few days later, the art festival was held as scheduled. Daniel attended the show with his penny whistle. Na, letztes Mal spielen. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny with me. Solo of a song titled Fly with me. Oh, ich habe sowas immer gehasst, wenn ich auf einer Bühne stand und die Leute mich anguckt.
ob sie jetzt auftauchen. Ja, wir spielen nochmal. Somewhere in this world, just like they promised they would, forever, into eternity. Das ist jetzt zum Schluss klang jetzt irgendwie böse. Okay, da war es nicht die Flöte, das ist die Box. Und das war der Vortrag. Okay, also da drin ist wie eine eigene Welt mit Drachen und Papierkugeln und diesen Ogern da. Oh, Mann. <lacht> Hui. Okay. Schauen wir mal, was unsere Freunde dazu sagen. Oh, Drachli. Hm. Aber wo werden sie jetzt festgehalten? Wow. <lacht> SCP-1762 wird momentan an Französischen Reliquien isoliert. An dem Dr. Daniel der leitende Direktor ist. Okay. Hm. Er wird vermutlich mal Rief stellen. Genau, zwei Jahre lang unter der Leitung von Dr. Treber. Ah, okay. Aber es ist also weitaus mehr als wir. Okay, cool. Dass genau dieses wie nichts für mich ist. Ach komm schon. <lacht> oh, ja. <lacht> Was denn? So schlimm war das doch jetzt gar nicht. Ich bin jetzt im Monat hier und habe mich komplett eingearbeitet, obwohl meine Aufgabe einzig und allein daran besteht, Archivakten zu bearbeiten. Wie die Arbeit nie langweilig, abgesehen von ein paar absurden Witzen, das sind die meisten Archive sehr faszinierend. Ich habe seit kurzem Halluzinationen. Es kommt mir so vor, als würde ich, als würde mich jemand rufen. Äh, okay. Eine tiefe und schleierhafte Stimme im sehr weckenden Anschein, Kontakt zu mir aufnehmen zu wollen, aber ich verstehe kein einziges Wort. Tatsächlich hatte ich vor, einen Arzt aufzusuchen, aber so meinte, ich hätte das typische Neulingssyndrom dass er in ein paar Tagen von selber wieder verschwinden würde. Ach, wetten, dass es das nicht tut. Neuer Arbeitstag. Ja, neuer Arbeitstag. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, was diesmal auf uns wartet. Aber, ich würde sagen, das mache ich in einer neuen Aufnahmesession. Das habe ich doch jetzt aber ein bisschen durchgezockt. Ich werde es erstmal schneiden und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Episode. Hoffe, euch gefallen. Bis dahin. Ciao und macht es gut. 
Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben. Und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gebt auch immer wieder gerade die Spiele und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Braubucher. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.